Okay, welcome to my kitchen. You guys have requested recently uh, that I show how I cook my fish. You guys obviously don't know how bad of a cook I am, but whatever. You guys have requested it, so I am going to show you how I cook my fish. What do we got? We went out and we got ourselves some nice sheepshead. There's the fillets. And uh, that should be plenty for me. Take a picture of that. That is uh, a beautiful thing. What I'm gonna need, um, I got some breadcrumbs here. I'll need that. And what else, what else? Do I need an egg? One of them. There we go. Okay. So we got an egg. We need something to put that egg in. I'll use a bowl. I'll use a paper plate. What I'm doing? I take the egg, I crack it, and I put it over there in the bowl. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that? It's an egg. It's in a bowl. Fascinating. Why you people want to see this is really beyond me. <laughs> Let's see, I'll go in my uh, fridge and get a little milk. Oops, just a splash of milk just to uh, make that a little soupier. Okay, now we're good. And uh, we wipe the salmonella off my hands because uh, I'm a little bit of a germ freak sometimes. Not too often, just sometimes. Okay, we're going to take the egg. And um, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Nice and nice. You like that, Bayard? That's fun. Yes, you like that? Okay. There you go. So now we got the, the breadcrumbs. We put them over here on the plate. And um, beautiful. It's like a little assembly line. You got your fish here. You take the fish, you put it in the egg. You take it from the egg, you put it in the frosty breadcrumbs, just like you would a chicken cutlet. And from there, we're going to put it in, I guess I need some sort of thing. Hey, there's a thing. That's a big cast iron thing. Ideal for home defense. If somebody breaks in, I'll bust them in the mouth with that thing. We got some uh, oil. Take that Okay, we take the cast iron skillet, we put the uh, heat on a certain amount, I don't know, undisclosed amount. We're going to put that oil back. Hope you enjoy yourself. You asked for this. I'm sorry. To everybody else out there who knows how to cook, they're like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's messing that up. He's making a mess. I know. I know. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to show you some pictures real quick um, of the fish that we're going to have. These guys right here. I'm going to show you pictures that I took uh, on the water just uh, yesterday of these guys as I came back from under the bridge. Only a few minutes have gone by. Uh, got the pan here, nice uh, hot oil. Take a little water. Woo! Throw it in there, and that's how you know that oil is hot, right? I don't know. 
I'm going to change the temperature to another undisclosed temperature. Don't ask me because I don't know. And I'm going to take a uh, fillet and I'll bread it just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Take the bigger one, we put it in there. In the egg, you get it nice and eggy. That's a word, I looked it up. And uh, we got plenty of breadcrumbs left, we got plenty of egg left. So I'm gonna double dip. Makes for a nice thick shell of goodness. And there you go, on the 4C breadcrumbs. Delish. Tells you it's delish. Boom, in the oil it goes. You notice I put the thicker piece in there first. Because I'm like a good cook guy. And then we get another filet here. And there you go. Hey, I'm nice. I'll tell you one of the things I like to do, one of my guilty pleasures, is I take the breadcrumbs and I put it in the egg. And I mix it up like this. You know? And I make little cookies. They look like cookies. All it is is egg and bread. This, I've seen guys do this and they make what, hush puppies? This is the poor man, single guy, can't cook worth his life version of hush puppies. I like it. I don't care what you say. If I had a cardiologist, which I don't, he'd probably be like, yeah, I don't think you should do that. But whatever. Rather than throw it away, there it is. Now I take the bowl, in the trash it goes. And I wash this disgusting mess off my hands. Okay. See that? How sweet that is? Beautiful. Nice. Okay. What I do is I take this, uh, I don't need that anymore. In the sink it goes. I get some paper towels. Put it on here. Now I've got a bed. What was the the 4C breadcrumbs plate is now the place where I'm going to put the fillets when they're done. Okay? What else do I do while these things are uh, frying up? I'm going to take one of these. Uh, that one will do. Nice, nice. And I'm going to pick a, uh, a vegetable to go with my fish. Okay, we're going to turn them real fast like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that heat's a little high, huh? Yeah, nice. Heck yeah. Soon you're coming up to the part of the video where the house fills with smoke. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What do we got? Vegetables. See, now again, I'm a single guy. I uh, want something fast. I could have carrots or beans or corn. Peas! That'll work. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. Again, this is simple. Nobody ever caught, taught me to cook. I didn't grow up in a household where a lot of food was made for me. A lot of times, you know, I would eat at friends' houses or stuff, stuff like that. In the microwave you go. So, I put that on for about X amount of minutes. And now I got vegetables, I got fish. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Honestly, I'm hoping that there's somebody out there right now who's saying, geez, you know, I, I wish I hadn't asked them to do this. And to those people, I say, see, I told you. I told you. <laughs> so, whatever. While that thing's cooking, what am I going to do? I'm going to make a plate. Right? Plate. Plate goes there. Ah, yeah. Lemons. Let's see. I'll take two lemons. Hmm. Can you smell that? It's nice. This is good stuff. I hope you're paying attention because you wouldn't be able to do this without me. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get burned. 
I'm gonna stab this a bunch of times. Woo! There you go. Put a little lemon on there. Why? Because it makes a fun sound, that's why. We got our peas. Yeah, a little smoke coming off of there. Okay. We're gonna put that in there for another two minutes because we're crazy like that. Can you see that? We're almost about to make the house full of smoke. Oh yeah, there you go. Hell yeah. I've always liked things crunchy. I don't know, maybe you don't. That's it. You break it open, it's white all the way through. That means it's ready. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. That's one crunchy filet. And that's two. These are my little breadcrumb cookies. That's nice. This is almost ready. Three, two, one. Hey, defuse the bomb. It almost went off, but I didn't, I didn't let it. And again, nice and simple. Drain them. Big step, you gotta drain them, don't forget. <laughs> anyway, they put a little butter in there and that'll melt. And uh, what do we got? We got? A little Old Bay seasoning. Mm, I love that smell. I just put a little bit of that on there. And uh, that's about it. You know, you can salt it just a touch. There you go. Again, my cardiologist can go, you know, where. And that's about it. I'm going to take some paper towels. Just like again, like you're making chicken cutlets. That's it. Soak up some of that oil. Take this here. From. Oopsie. There you go. There's your sheep's head. All fried up like a chicken cutlet. I got some vegetables tonight. We got peas. And uh, what I do is I'll take the uh, the lemon and I kind of stab it a bunch of times. And it makes all the juice come out nice, nice. I figure for two fillets I use two lemons. I like I like the lemon juice. It's wonderful. I gotta try a piece. That's good stuff. I like it. We put the peas here. So there you go. Sheep's head with peas and lemon. Mm -hmm.